There comes a time in the life of an oligarch when spending money becomes more important than making it. And for Viktor Pinchuk, who became a millionaire and the second richest man in Ukraine, that time is now. The long boom in steel and minerals, as well as oil, has created a growing number of billionaires in once destitute economies like Russia, India and Ukraine. Meanwhile, the global credit crunch has set back the ambitions of many of the wealthiest financiers of the West, opening the door to a new breed hungry for art, access and ultimately acceptance. For Pinchuk, like many of his contemporaries in neighbouring Russia, the prizes that they extracted from the ashes of the Soviet Union were a function of political calculation and ruthless business practice. In 1990, he formed Interpipe as an engineering consulting firm and positioned himself as a middleman ready to cash in. Pinchuk created an industrial daisy chain, reconnecting coal to coke to pig iron to hot rolled coils and finally to steel pipes, taking his own cut at every stage. My pipe business I created from scratch. My media assets and bank I bought from the secondary market. When Ukraine began selling off its public assets in the early 1990s for just a few million dollars, Pinchuk built up stakes in two pipe companies that are now worth billions. He has been accused of securing sweet deals on privatizations. One of his privatization deals has been revoked. Another resulted in a lawsuit that accused Mr. Pinchuk of paying bribes to officials, siphoning off $41 million in profits. That case was settled in 2006. I'm trying to be transparent, but nobody likes rich people, he said in his rough, Russian-accented English. But few, if any, have been as aggressive and public in using art, global philanthropy, public policy and even music to advance their agenda as Pinchuk. Pinchuk's outreach campaign features substantial philanthropy mixed with supercharged celebrity hobnobbing. He is equally at home enjoying a night out with Elton John or a private showing of Jeff Koons' latest sculptures. He can now call upon Damien Hirst to propose a colour scheme for his new private jet. The suggestion was blue. None of this comes cheap, of course. Such pursuits, along with his frenetic art purchases, have cost Pinchuk an estimated $200 million over the past four years, out of a fortune estimated between $5 billion and $10 billion. Estimates of his net worth fluctuate. Forbes pegs him at $5 billion. A figure that Pinchuk says is low. Already one of his privatization deals has been revoked and another resulted in a lawsuit that accused Pinchuk of paying bribes to government officials, receiving kickbacks and siphoning off 41 million dollars in profits. The world has given it all to Mr Pinchuk, he said. Now it's time to give it all back. 